Sometimes becoming a trucker or you're thinking about a career in trucking or in transportation, there's a few questions that have to be answered. And um, one of the big ones are, when do I get home? How much do I get home? What are the frequency I get home? That's the main thing people want to know because people have families, people have kids, people want to want to see their uh, extended family and everything like that. So in this video, we're going to discuss frequency of when truckers and how much truckers get home and the divisions that dictate when that happens. One of the ways you can ensure that you get home or, or, or no, let's not do that. Let's, let's back up. Let's talk about the divisions or let's talk about the sectors. Usually there's local, there's regional, there's OTR. The OTR guys work on a seven day out, one day home situation. So if I want to go home for four days, I stay out four weeks. If I want to go home for two days, I stay out two weeks. See how that works? That simple. The regional guys, if they're at a pretty chill regional place, it's usually out for a week home on the weekend or maybe out two weeks home for two days depending on how you want to make money. And then the local guys are home every single day. Now, one of the things you gotta remember is certain companies you go to and certain divisions of trucking will get you home more than the others. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about that. If you're somebody who is not worried about getting home at all, then reefer would be excellent for you. It will be excellent. You're, you're not going you're not going to be around um, hardly at all those those loads go all over the country they never stop in their frequency and you can just go 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 and, and just it could be all about money and traveling and seeing where you want to go but an understanding that it's non-stop then you have other divisions like flatbed which is a little bit easier to find a regional situation with flatbed. Uh, there's, you can do some dedicated stuff too, which is a whole other situation, but dedicated basically just means you go to one or two places and you do the same thing over and over and over and over again. Makes it a little easier to get you home. Flatbed, you can find a lot of, uh, flatbed companies that are near you. I could, uh, name a few things to look out for. Uh, you have things like, uh, uh, lumber. You have things like, uh, certain powder metal factories. Uh, equipment moving. There's rental places where you can rent equipment. Where and, and uh, let's say you want to rent a bobcat or a bulldozer or a thing to drill holes. Those guys sometimes get home every night. So if you have want to do flatbed, you can drop off lumber to Home Depot or lumber to these uh, lumber factories or people who are building houses right there in your city. And those guys get to get home. Fun fact: some of those are even Class B jobs. You don't have to worry about uh, dealing with a combination vehicle, but I still would prefer if y'all went and got your uh, class A just, just in case. Also, another one that could get you home at a, a pretty decent time is tanker. There are a lot of tanker jobs. I only did tanker job tanker for a little bit. I don't have very much information about tanker, but I suggest you go to see a guy named Dirty Broke. That's his YouTube name. Go uh, follow him and he can really break down and get into tanker and hazmat and everything like that. Because uh, hazmat's where the bucks are and you can do hazmat and be home every night and make very good money. Then you have the dump guys. The dump guys, uh, they haul asphalt, they haul rocks, uh, 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 aggregate, ore, things out of the ground. They, they haul those things to different places. They haul salt, feed, um, dirt to uh, uh, construction sites. Those guys get home, e if not every day, every week. But most of it is, it is every day. So you can, and you can say that, oh, I went and got my CDL from a private place. And some of these dump places that take you with no experience, then you got to build it up and go and go from there. But that is an option. So I mean, you can go from CDL to decent job and never leave your never leave your city if that is what you're aiming to do it is a little bit slower go of it than just going otr for a year and coming back with the experience that's what i would suggest you do but if you're someone who's not in that position this can this can definitely um 
It's gonna definitely help you out. Um, another one, another one is a uh, 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 dry van. Dry van is gonna be the ones that is delivering to. Uh, if you're looking at it from a local regional standpoint, is the ones that are going to WalMarts and delivering to the WalMarts. They're delivering to the Best Buys. They're delivering to, you know, your big box stores. They're delivering to your electronic stores. Your f- Ashley Furniture. You're delivering to only the furniture places in your home every week. You know, things like that are the different type of positions that are going to make sure that you get home. We're not really discussing a bunch of pay right now. It's just about home time. You just want to you want to get home. You want to be able to. Uh, you don't want to be out there like that. You, isn't, you're not that type of person. You want to go home or you're just interested in knowing which one so you can make a, a decent decision is what I want to focus on with you here. You have to start thinking about trucking or transportation. I don't want to stop saying trucking. You want to start thinking about transportation in a, in a supply and demand thing, right? Like a gas station. Someone has to drop that off, that that, that gas into the the gas station that's going to be under your tanker hazmat guy and he goes and he refills all the gas stations in your town think about how many gas stations are where you live just think about that what city you're in unless you're in a super duper small town it's only two but if you're somewhere like atlanta you know it got to be two thousand gas stations in atlanta you're somewhere like florida there's got to be three thousand gas stations down there in jacksonville and orlando and miami so there's always a locally positioned right there where you live but you got to have the mindset to know that okay i'm going to want to do this so if you go to your private cdl school you make sure you get all those endorsements so you have those options the less endorsements you have the less options you have it's just it's just that simple and we'll i'll do a video just on endorsements and what uh what jobs they actually go for um another one another one you can look into is passenger a lot of people don't don't think about that. How many different buses are going through their town? You have OTR bus drivers, just like you have regional bus drivers, just like you have local bus drivers. You know, you can go from charter bus, you know, that's where your great uh, uh, like Greyhounds and up, or you can go to your city transit bus, and you can go to the person who, if you're in a major city, you go to the guy who, who all he does is the CDL passenger, all he does is bus people from the airport to a certain place there's a lot of different jobs which kind of teeter into chauffeuring because you if you're doing that then you will be around the chauffeur guys who are like chauffeuring people there's very good jobs in that in that arena you have people who only take people back and forth to the private jet place i know in uh here in las vegas there's a company called maverick and that's all they do they just carry rich people from their private plane to uh, uh, to where they're staying or where wherever they want to go, and those tips are ridiculous from the guy that I talked to down there. Um, so that's that's a, another thought process too that you you can go through. You can go Class B, and in Class B you're going to be home more likely, a, a lot more. But just understand sometimes that can mean less money, and I don't want you to put yourself in a position where you're getting less money. Just understand. The divisions. The divisions are very, very simple. OTR, you're out for 30 days at least. You know, uh, 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 regional, you're looking at every week or every two weeks. Local, you're home every night. Uh, easy way to be home more often is stuff like flatbed and dump trailer and stuff like that. Those divisions, look into those, driving uh, Class A dump trucks and everything like that. That'll get you home more. If you start messing with van, there's chances you're going to be staying out more and everything like that. Flat, flatbed, you can be out a long time, or you can be home every night, or you can be home every week. It's it's one of those one of those situations. But I just want to give you information that's digestible that you can use while you're thinking about what is it that I want to do. That's it. I appreciate you for coming in and um listening to me here, and I I want to make this to get straight to the help, cut through the mess, straight to the help, straight to you. If it helps you out, make sure you give me a like because it does help the channel. And if you um, and if uh, you have a comment, just put the comment down there or a video or a subject you want me to talk about. Put it in the comments and I'll try to get to all of them. Please be happy. Hope you have an awesome career and don't do drugs.